is Michelle Vincent. She's from the Astrology Society of South Africa. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. And uh, yeah, well, I noticed the moon yes. coming in. Tell us what's happening at the moment with the moon. Tell us so we understand what's going on, why this is special. Okay, so why a lunar eclipse is special is because mm -hmm. a solar and a lunar eclipse only happen usually about twice a year. Mm. And it's the alignment of the sun, the earth, and the moon. So a lunar eclipse follows two weeks after a solar eclipse. So on the 6th of January, we had the solar eclipse. Oh, I didn't know. Um, okay, so yeah. there was a solar eclipse where, uh, on the 6th of January, and now two weeks later, we have the lunar eclipse. So what usually happens here is the solar eclipse is all about the masculine energy. The lunar eclipse is all about the feminine energy. But because an eclipse is blocking out, so in other words, the moon, this earth mm -hmm. is um, between the moon and the sun. So the earth's shadow is blocking out the feminine energy of the moon, which means that the feminine energy is not that stable. It's not that stable to actually balance out the masculine energy. So we could find m the masculine energy in women as well as men being a, a more rampant because it's not being balanced. So should we expect to fight a lot over the next video? Well, what exactly are we saying? What's going to happen to us girls? It is an emotional time. Yeah. Um, it's not only us girls because the male energy that we we all have the masculine yeah, and feminine yeah. energy So even men could be feeling a little bit more unsettled at the moment a bit touchy It's mm. a bit touchy, but I think it's deeper than that and why it, it is deeper than that because when we have a solar and lunar eclipse we are talking about changes in our lives mm. but it's changes about things that we knew we needed to change okay. and we haven't so it gets you basically so lights a fire so it's you, like it? it's like come on okay. this is what you wanted to change you sitting on it get you're going. not doing anything with it get going so it makes you uncomfortable it brings you out of yes. your comfort zone yes. is that so if we are feeling a little besides ourselves not quite ourselves right now and this is not hocus pocus stuff. This is literally like scientific stuff about the push and pull of the moon. Am well, I right? It, well, yes. Th yeah, th that is astronomy wing, yes. and astrology. Mm. Look, it's a very debatable yeah, point. Astrology, yeah. I'm sure there's a line but for, we for me, it. it's 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 based on a, a two thousand, three thousand year subject. Mm. So there's got to be something in it for it to still be around. So what are some of the things we can expect to be happening? Um, at this time you spoke a little bit about the emotions what okay. are some of the things that or, or, or things we we should or shouldn't be doing at this time well I think one of the first things is is that because this um, lunar eclipse is in Leo mm. okay so the moon is in Leo at the moment Leo um, is a proud sign it likes to be noticed it's very um, a, a heart sign but the Sun is sitting in Aquarius so the thing that's happening for us at the moment is that we need to distinguish between our personal feelings and being impersonal okay so, so it. and it, it's, it's, it's a balance between the two because not everything needs our full emotions and we need to learn to live in be an individual as well as be in the group which you can understand for South Africa that's quite a big yeah, thing yeah, because yeah. we need to be able to express our ourselves as individuals but we are very much working for the group for the greater benefit of all so that's very much what this lunar eclipse is about it's very much about um, um, being a little bit more objective standing mm. outside of yourself looking at your life and saying okay what needs to change in my life right now mm -hmm. but not looking at it from an emotional point of view actually looking at it from a more dissociated impersonal point of view so you're looking at it over there so it's just practical it's what's going to make this better for me Re is yeah, that it what it is a lot mm. of people at this point in time are probably also experiencing a lot of change in their life mm. Mm. they are experiencing this change as traumatic okay rather step out of it and, and look at it from a more objective point of view and I was just saying to somebody right now look at it in a, a way of what is the lesson I need to okay. learn here because that's what this is all about from an astrological point of view what is the lesson I need to learn now 
to actually enrich my life and carry my life out on a more um, empowered, positive point so of view. So very quickly for us, Michelle, when does all of this end? When does this time pass? After well, what they eclipse. say about a solar eclipse is that usually the lessons um, last for six months. So it's very intense now because of the actual lunar eclipse. Mm -hmm. But just be aware over the next okay. couple of months. So it might start something in the process to follow over the next few months. Very much okay. so. Okay, so what you're very feeling so. is, uh, is not uh, hocus pocus. It's, it's genuinely what needs to happen in your life. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Go with your gut, I think. Go with your gut if that's what yes. it is. Uh, thanks very much, Michelle Vincent from the Astrology Society of South Africa explaining uh, this lunar eclipse and uh, what the blood moon actually means for us. Well, it's